फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक कार्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ग्रोइंग स्पिनेज इनटू डीएफटी सिस्टम ऑफ द हाइड्रोपोनिक टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर यू ऑल द डिटेल्स अबाउट ग्रोइंग द स्पिनेज इनटू दिस डीएफटी सिस्टम हाउ टू स्टार्ट द स्पिनेज सीड्स एंड व्हाट आर द केयर वी शुड टेक व्हाइल establishing the spinach plant into the dft system all that information i'm going to share in detail in this video so to know everything in detail please stay connected to the video till the end let us start this video friends spinach is very easy to grow into any of hydroponic system and we are going to grow it into this dft system because this system will grow the spinach very vigorously for the long time now spinach can not be so directly into this so for starting up the spinach we must sow the seed into the nursery prepare the nursery and later on transplant the plants into net cup and then into the system now we can do the nursery two way one way you can put the seeds into the big bucket filled with the cocoa pit grow the seedlings and after four to five leaf stage you can transplant the seedling into the net cup like this and later on you can shift them into the system for transplanting either you can use cocoa pit or the clay balls we have used the another method in this another method what we have done we have filled the cocoa pit into this cup first and then put the seeds once the seeds sprout and grow at the nursery they become like this here is our nursery and you can see the vigorous growth of the spinach plant into this nursery so here is the spinach and you can see the four or five leaves are settled into this spinach plant and this is the stage where we can transplant this spinach plant into the system now for transplanting first we need to prepare the system now for preparing the system we must start circulating the water first and we need to maintain the level so when we start the watering and leveling it up to the level where the bottom of the cup net cup just touching to the water so we have started it a day before and today we can see here you can see this net cup is just wet on the bottom here so this much level of the water is there into the system so now the system is now ready for transplanting now once the level is maintained then we need to make the nourishment initially we can nourish the system with the 20 to 25% of the nutrient solution maximum up to 30% so we need to maintain a small amount of nutrient into this to establish the plant well once the plant are established you can increase the concentration of the nutrition and grow the plant fast so for growing the spinach or starting the spinach the base is we need to maintain the tds around 250 to 300 ppm only later on we can go to 700 800 up to 1000 also and ph we need to keep it around 6.5 this will be a good condition for establishing this young spinach plants now the transplanting now transplanting if we are growing in a bed and transplanting into the cup then it is we can directly put them into the system but the way we have grown and the plant you can see this i will show you from the close so lot of cocoa pit is taking to this root now if you put this plant as it is into the system all the loose cocoa pit will fall into system then it will flow to the reservoir tank and when we suck the water with the pump it will go into the system and when we will deliver with the small pipe it is chance to close up so to avoid that close up we must clean this cocoa pit before shifting to the system now this is very simple to clean it we have bucket full of water over here so we can put this cup two three times shake it well and clean all the water clean with the water and once the loose all the loose cocoa pit will remove from the water you can see this now clean then we can shift this net cup to this system so this is how we simply can shift all the spinach plant into the system now initially once we transplant we need to maintain this level 
for a couple of days. Once the new leaf is growing, start growing in it, we can reduce this level to the one third or one fourth of the pipe. So initially we are keeping little more than half. Once the plants are established, we can going to run the system with the uh, one third or the one fourth of the level. So it will allow more air for the plant and it will have a very healthy growth of the plant. So this is a simple way we can start the spinach and transplant it and grow the spinach very well. With this method, you can get a spinach harvest for the long time into the season and enjoy your fresh spinach regularly on the dish. If you have planned to grow spinach hydroponically, then prepare a system taking all this care and transplant your spinach and get the advantage of the fresh harvest for the full season. Happy growing!